we got September's collectible card club boxes. And as you know, I always have two of them. One of them is going to be baseball. The other one's going to be hockey. I don't know which one's which. So you know what that means. We got a flip for it. So let's see which one we're going to open up first this week. And here we go. We can flip it. It's going to be tails. It's going to be that one right there. That's well, too bad because that one was a little thick. I'm kind of curious on this one, but we got to save it. So set that aside here, and we're going to get our trusty screwdriver, and let's see what we get this week. Is it going to be hockey or is it going to be baseball? Let's see what it is. Here we go. Flip it over, and boom, we're going to get hockey. And we got some preview packs from Upper Decks. And those are older ones, and that's a Paul Coffey on the top. That's going to be a PC hit for Retro Robbie. He loves Paul Coffey, so we're going to save that one for last. It's kind of a little preview. I think those previews are worth a little bit more than the regular ones, so we'll take a peek at that. Let's get through these here and see what we get this month for hockey. So start from the left. We got a 2021 Series 2 Upper Deck Hockey uh, Hobby Pack there. So that's nice. It's always good to get. Look for those young guns and inserts. And we got a nice older retail one there. So I don't know if there'll be much in there, but I believe that is what is. I can't see that there. 96, 97 Upper Deck. So that's an older one. And after that, we got uh, the Extended Series. We just opened these up. This is a hobby pack, so we'll see what's in this one. So as you know, I opened up these about a week or so ago. Retail, this is ho this is hobby, so we're going to do that. And then we got the old retro 1990-91 uh, Upper Deck Hockey, the Premier Edition. I love opening these. I know there's not much value in them, but they're still fun to open, reminisce, and all that. So after that, we got Power Play, 2005, 2006. We got this last month, five memorabilia and autograph cards. I think we got memorabilia in the last one, if I recall. So we will open that one as well. After that, we got to 1995, uh, yeah, Leaf Limited there for hockey. And uh, that is the Premier Edition, so... There's going to be some nice little cards in there. Even though I made a lot, it's still kind of cool. Oh, up after that, we got 1990-20 MVP. Kind of lower end, but I do collect these. These are fun to collect, so we'll be opening that up as well. After that, we got 1996-97 Select Hockey. So it's a pinnacle brand. So I don't remember opening these up at all. So this will be the first time opening these. So we will take it. And after that, we got a quest for the cup. That's from Pacific. I've opened these before. These are kind of neat to open up. Uh, I believe. What year is this? It is uh, 2003. So towards the end of Pacific's run. And last pack. One of my all-time favorite uh, sets to open up. 91, 92. This looks like it's going to be the French edition. And I always loved opening these up as a kid. I mean, I bought so many of these. I can't even tell you how many I bought. I think I got a whole case full of open cards from 91, 92. There were so many rookies. There were so many uh, stars and inserts. Well, it, subsets, I should call them. They're not really inserts. But there were so many of them. <laughs> so they're not much valuable. So we'll be opening that. So there's quite a bit here to open up so how am i going to do this i gotta think about this so we're gonna just kind of go through here we're gonna start with the quest for the cup so that is the national hockey league game worn jerseys there are the odds oh i want five oh let's see if we get some inserts we got some good relic cards last time so let's see what we get this time so there's the first card. That's complete. As you know, those are always in all those specific sets. So we got Thomas Holstrom there. So very nice. Another PC hit. I am a huge Thomas Holstrom fan from the Red Wings. So very nice. We will take that. And there he is. 2000. So this is 2002, 2003 set. So set that aside. And here are the cups. There's Mario Lemieux. You can never go wrong with a Mario card. So that's a decent hit. Nice foiliness there. Oh, very nice. Let's look at the back of that one. Number 80. Oh, you get a good card right from the get-go. Mario Lemieux. I'll show the price on that one. 
After that, we got Simon Ganje from the Philadelphia Flyers. And we're going to get a relic card. Another relic card. This is of Marty Turco. So very nice. I love it, man. I'm getting the relics on these hockey cards. So I'm loving it. I'm trying to see game worn jerseys. One out of nine. So, you know, somebody good hit. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to touch it. There we go. Yeah, I love touching it. So there's Marty Turco of the Dallas Stars. And there is our first hit in the first pack. Got to love it. After that, we got Peter Forsberg from the Colorado Avalanche, another decent player. And last card is Patrick Laleem from the Ottawa Senators. So, overall, our first pack was not bad. So, let's go with the 96-97 Select. Never opened these before. Look for secret mirror chase sets. So, ooh. So, we'll see what we got there. There are the odds. Still back in the days when the odds were getting uh, kind of... You know, easy to read back then. Nowadays, man, you read upper decks odds, man, you need you need one of these magnifying glasses to read them, man. They're so small. So here we go. Let's open that up. Oh, as you know, I'll show the prices and odds on anything we find for you guys. And we're going to start out with a checklist because you never really have enough checklists in your life. There we go. After that, we got the protective film on these. All nice foiliness. So there is uh, Savu Koivu from the Montreal Canadiens. So there we are. There is the back of these. Kind of cool. Very foily, very protective. Protective sheet for my protection and yours, as you know. And after that, we got Damon uh, Pumba from Tampa Bay Lightning. And after that is that, uh, uh, is Ron Francis from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Very nice. And it looks like we might get an insert, so I'm going to go like that. And after that, we got Stephen Fissette from LA Kings. And after that, very nice, Joe Sackett. You never go wrong with Joe Sackett. He's always in the top five. Got to love Joe Sackett. And let's see what that insert card is. It's going to be red. And very nice. It is a red parallel of Yammer Yager. Oh, that will have some value. Like I said, I will look it up. I will tell you the odds. Uh, it says select premier edition. So uh, just kind of quick look in here. Certified red is one out of every eight packs. So it's one of the more common ones. But still, Yammer Yager can never go wrong with Yammer. Oh, very nice. We will take that. So there's another decent hit for the for the cause. So. I seem to get a little bit luckier in hockey than baseball when it comes to opening stuff like that. So let's open up 95 Limited. So look at that. It tells me where to tear. Oh, we're gonna tell we're gonna follow their instructions. Look at that. Nice easy open cut for us. So that's what they look like. I remember these. These were always nice. Higher ends back in the day. Too bad they produced so many. We're gonna start with Kevin Stevens there. Oh, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. So I'm getting a lot of Penguins cards, so that's kind of cool. Up next, we got Paul Karaya. And I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Someone says I'm always pronouncing it wrong, but I always pronounce it Karaya. So I always do that. So there he is with the Mighty Hand, Mighty Ducks. So up next, we got Peter Nevid of the New York Rangers. And after that, we got Patrick Waugh. So very nice. Patrick Waugh, there's a lot of Patrick Waugh collectors, and that is a nice card. So that's going to be always a, one of the top five, usually, of every set. All the foily rainbow goodness that you can get for a Patrick Waugh on a limited. Uh, very nice. We'll take that. And after that, we got Arthur Urbe from San Jose Sharks. So, again, another nice uh, set there. So let's see. What are we going to do next? We don't really want to open that one. Uh, man, I kind of do. I'll go with the power play next. So, 05, 06, upper deck power play. Oh, I think we opened this last month. I don't know if it's this one, the other one that we got a decent insert. So, let's see what we get this time around. Now, here we go. And we start out with Ed Belfort on that would be uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. So, very nice. Eddie the Eagle. Gotta love him. Up next, we got Daniel uh, Bure from the Buffalo Sabres. And after that, it looks like our insert card. We got another Yammer Yager. This seems to be the Yammer Yager box. This time from the New York Rangers. 
So in action, an in action card. So we'll show you what the odds of that are and all that good stuff. As you know, there's the redemption. After that, we got uh, Nikolai Zadev from Columbus Blue Jackets. And after that, we got Lumbar Vizdowski. Oh, I, I used to have that guy on my fantasy team for many, many years. Great defenseman for the New York Rangers. Got his, uh, not New York Rangers, Los Angeles Kings. Bye. And I got his autograph, too. Very great guy. So after that, we got Ryan Miller of oh, the Buffalo Sabres. So another insert hit. Gotta love it. Oh, what are we going to do next? We'll do MVP. After that, we'll do that upper deck choice preview. And he said MVP, lower end, but you know, you can still get, especially the hobby boxes, you can get some good cards out of here. So here we go. There's uh, Phil Kessel there of oh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, getting those pick Pittsburgh Penguins, that's for sure. After that, we got Michael Furlund from the Carolina Hurricane. After that, we got Dustin. Uh, by Frugan from Winnipeg Jets. After that, we got Kevin Hayes of uh, the Winnipeg Jets again. After, oh, very nice. A rookie hit there of Philip Zadina. I love Zadina. Uh, watched him play in the minor league system. Now playing for the Red Wings. So much potential. We'll see what he if he keep it can keep it up. So that's for sure. So there he is. Getting the rookie insert right there. After that, we got JT Miller from uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Got Josh Anderson from Columbus Blue Jackets. And John Klingberg from the Dallas Stars. So, getting some good uh, stuff here, that's for sure. Oh, do that. We're going to open up this preview pack. Well, my buddy Paul, Paul Coffey. Uh, very nice. I know these previews, I think, go for a little bit more. Uh, than the regular collector's choice. They didn't call. They don't. They didn't do collector's choice very long. That's for sure. So we're gonna start out, my buddy there, Paul Coffee. PC hit for retro. I'm a huge Paul Coffee fan. Anyone that knows me knows that. So there he is. Wore his number when I played hockey all the time. And yep, I fought, got I played with a stick and. Yeah, I was a huge Paul Coffey fan. Up next, we got Jamie Lundberger, Lamberger from the Dale Stars. And up next, we got nice Rob Blake. So we're getting some choice defensemen, that's for sure, from the LA Kings. And again, all these have the preview on them, so they'll be worth a little bit more. We'll flip it around. There's Dino Cicerelli from the Florida Panthers. Being a rhinoceros because all hockey cards must have Dino being a rhinoceros. All right, whatever. Hey, whatever flows your boat. That was the 90s. They did everything. Gotta love the ass wash jeans, of course, from the 90s. Oh, man, I had ass wash jeans, so I can't, I can't uh, mock them too much. So after that, we got Brian Holzinger from Buffalo Sabres. And the last card is Eric Daze from the Chicago Blackhawks. So, again, some very nice preview cards there. We will take that. That's a nice little bonus there. So, we're going to go oldest and newest in the upper deck. So, let's start it off. Going all the way back to the first year, 1990-91. Oh, here we go. Getting some... See if we can get some good players out of this one, that's for sure. Back before inserts were around. There's Mike Luet. I want to see if he signs. I got a lot of Mike Luet cars sitting around. See if he signs. Gotta get some more hockey TTMs. So there's Randy Wood from the New York Islanders. After that, we got Anna Burt from Hartford Whalers. And again, this is gonna be every which way but loose. There is a rookie card, rookie stars of uh, Rob DiMario. Very nice. See if he signs. Gotta get all things robbed, that's for sure. After that, we got Mike McVee from the Montreal Canadiens. After that, we got upside down there, Craig Muni from the Edmonton Oilers. Stuart Gavin from, at that time, Minnesota North Stars. So there he is. After that, we got Kelly Kissel from the New York Rangers. After that, Chris Terry from the New York Doubles. After that, uh, man, flip it around here. Uh, we got Mark Jensen's from the New York Rangers. After that, Greg Adams from the Winnipeg or Vancouver Canucks. After that, and yeah, final cards, Bill Rankford from Edmonton Oilers. And Bill always has a little value, so that's a little minor hit there. 
And we're going to get an insert, uh, one of those hockey superstars. And that's the great one there, Wayne Gretzky. All blurry form because early holographics in 1990 was not the greatest. You can almost make him out. I can barely see him. <laughs> but that trust me, that is Wayne Gretzky. I will tell you the price on that one. So that one will have a little value. They didn't put him in, you know, every pack, that's for sure. So that's a nice little hit. The old 1990 holograms. <laughs> Gotta love them. Up next, my all-time favorite product, 1991-92 Upper Deck. I loved opening this, but they made so many of them. I opened boxes upon boxes upon boxes. I can't even tell you the amount of time I spent opening box. Look at that. Up next, we got Bill Rankford for the Canadian national team. So I always had the World Cup in here, too. Uh, Canada Cup. Sorry, Canada Cup. I always loved that, so that was be that predated them NHL players being in the Olympics, so that was a big deal for the Canada Cup. Oh, there's Bill Rainford. Up next, we got Mike Richter. So we got both goalies from the U.S. and Canada there, so very nice. And up next from the Red Wings, we got Jimmy Carson. And after that, we got Dougie Gilmore from the Calgary Flames, so that will have a little value. Dougie in his earlier years. Oh, uh, there's Patrick Flatley from New York Islanders. After that, we got Glenn Healy from Islanders as well. After that, we got Dave Hannon from Toronto Maple Leafs. After that, we got Rick Tabanaki from uh, Winnipeg Jets. And after that, we got Mark Potman from the Detroit Red Wings. And after that, we got... Martin Hostek from Philadelphia Flyers. Terry Yake from the Hartford Whalers. Getting his jersey tugged on. After that, we got Dave Volek from New York Islanders. And you can go to the 1991-92 All-Star Game in Philadelphia. Think it's still good? I don't think so. But there's your picks. You can pick for the All-Star team. Look at those names. Wayne Gretzky, Animal, Steve Eisenman, Jeremy Roenick. We got Barrasso. Oh, so many names. Ah, yes. The 90s. Love hockey cards. Hockey players all in the 90s. Love it. All right. Up next, we got the uh, this retail pack of 95, 96, I believe. And here we go. Open it up. And there it is. First one is an on ice insight. So this might be John LeClaire. And nope, just a regular series there. So just John LeClaire from the Philadelphia Flyers. That's a decent card. And up next, we got a program of excellence. Uh, is Jason Ward. So not as good as the Patrick Merlot that I got. But still a decent player. And we got something really shiny foily there. And that's going to be Darian Hatcher from the Dallas Stars. Power Performers. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is. And that one is the insert card right there. So very nice. Power Performers and all copper foiliness. That's kind of cool. Oh, room for everything possible. Oh, there we go. And after that... These are the ones that are hard to read. Issa Tikasen from the Vancouver Canucks. After that, we got Phil Housley of the Washington Capitals. And after that, we got another Yammer Yager. I told you. This is the Yammer Yager box. Never go wrong with Yammer. So there he is. Game five of the Eastern Semis sees Yammer notch a hat trick. Of course he did, man. The guy was a stud. Old man Yager now, man. He's still going. He's like my age, and he's still going. Wish I could still go at that age. That's for sure. Up next, we got uh, at Pavel Bure. So another decent card there. And we got Kevin Miller here for Chicago Blackhawks. And after that, we got uh, Nicholas Anderson from the New York Islanders. And after that, we got uh, Miroslav Satan. Or Satan, whatever you want to pronounce him. It's Satan. I know that. You just better to say Satan. <laughs> That's for sure. Edmonton Oilers. And after that, we got Alexander Daigle from the Ottawa Senators. And last card is Andre Trov 
Trevor from the Buffalo Sabres. So, last two packs. How would you think about this? I love opening the hockey cards. They're so much fun. You get a little of both here, so that's why I like it. So I collect both the old and the new when it comes to hockey. So, kind of nice to get. Here's the extended series. We open these up. I'm not going to go through them until we hit the insert. And there you go. Boom. I hit it right away. I was going to hold off to it, but it's going to be Logan Stanley. So we get a young gun. One to four hits. Oh, there he is. I'll show the price of that. So where is the young guns and the rest of the crew there? Oh, there we go. And last pack is a series two of upper decks. So let's see if we get another young guns. Here we go. So I'm going to start off with a Tyler Bertuzzi. So I love Tyler Bertuzzi. Oh, here we're going to see where my insert is. And it's going to be right there. So that looks like an old peachy. Oh, there's a Cabo Caco. Oh, Pecorini and this one's going to be no peachy, so that's not going to be a huge value there. And we got Thomas Harley. Oh, the Dallas Stars. There he is. That's going to be a retro rookie, so at least you get the retro version of him. Like I said, old peachy. They inserted old peachy's uh, extended in Series 2. So that is it. There's the highlights. We got one relic this time. Last time we got two. This time we got one. Only Mar Marty Turco. So that's a nice one. Nice red parallel of Yammer Yager. Uh, we also got another insert of Yager Yammer. And we also got another Yammer Yager in here too, as you recall. So definitely the Yammer Yager box. And those previews. I got the Paul Coffee. That's definitely going to go in my PC collection. That's for sure. We got the OPG, uh Thomas Harley. And we got a rookie card of Philip Zadina. That will go in my PC collection too. We got a young gun of Logan Stanley. And we got that nice copper uh, foily card of Darian Hatcher. And, of course, who could forget getting this very, very blurry hologram of uh, Wayne Gretzky. So that is it. Tell me what you think. Um, you know, I love opening this stuff. It's so fun. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment. Give it a thumbs up. If you like me open hockey every month, I do this every month for hockey and for baseball. So subscribe to my channel. It's growing. When we get to 400, we'll give more of these away. And if you choose hockey, you'll get some of these as well. So thank you for watching Retro Robbie saying collect what you love.